In November 2020, before Europe completely locked down again, we spent a few days in Crete, Greece's largest island. While it may be winter, that wasn't going to stop us Canadians from enjoying. Before we could try local dishes like snails, we had to prove that November definitely still counts as beach season. I'm taking a video. Can I post your underwear in it? <laughs> look at this look. Look at this look. <laughs> is it warm? <laughs> How cold is it? How is this November fast? Woo! Super cute. Ooh. I don't mean to brag, but how good am I at finding restaurants? It's our first proper meal in Crete. I don't count hotel meals as good as they are. So we walked up a hill, we found this local place, and I... Oh, oh thank you so much. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Oh, wait. Tantric eating, Hassan. You just stare at it for a really long time, and then it makes it taste better. Snails. Oh, snails. Thank you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm Dimitris from Elunda. <laughs> well, the snails is one Cretan dish that we make it from sea salt in the pan, vinegar, olive oil, and rosemary. You could taste the rosemary, that was the really good of point. Of course, and the sea salt and the vinegar. It's yeah. sea salt, we start with the sea salt down the pan, and then we put the rosemary. Thank you very Perfect. much. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is Gary's first snail, he's never eaten one. They're kind of like shrimpy. I'm so disturbed. Like, really? Psychologically. Why? But it was good. But I'm like... <laughs> Do you see too many in the garden? Yeah. Mm. No. So I've only had snails a few times and the you first... Like them? Well, and the one time we got them off a beach in Scotland and boiled them on the beach and then ate them there, and I really like them. It's, it smells like ground, though. Right? A nice flavor. I don't love the texture. The snail is more about the texture and the experience of getting to pull it out. So, Gary, what did he say? He said, um, you ate all the snails, bravo. Gary has a thing about always having to finish the food in front of him, so he powered through. So it made us look very cool and legit to the owner. That's a half chops. That's a half kilo of lamb chops? No, it's one kilo. Oh, it's okay, we'll be fine. I need, mean, but now I'm a little Meh. worried. Meh. Also, Gary, you grew up on a lamb farm. Tell us about that. That's cute. Can you have too much lamb? Oh, look at these. Oh my god. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Thank you thank so you. much. And of course, Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. They have a dessert just like this one on. It's basically like digestive biscuit with custard on top. I guess the addition in Greece is the cinnamon. I do like cinnamon. I don't think they use cinnamon that much in London. But it's giving you mad Lebanese vibes? Yeah, mad Lebanese vibes. That's similar to, oh god. Can you do half a shot and I'll water it down? Do one. I need to taste what 
some dessert. Oh. If only we'd had desserts when we were headed to the club as a team. <laughs> Just doing shots of tequila. Welcome. Bye. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Great and rash bread. Oh. Homemade from carob. Carob. Oh. I'm here to show you what is the carob. You see this very dark? Yeah. You see, this is a carob sure. tree. And many, many years ago, you know carrot. Uh, oh, really? the diamond oh, carrots? Diamonds, yeah. carrot. This is the name from the carob. Oh. oh. We used to make in Crete, the old ancient Crete, they sell in Egyptian things and they put the carob to how much maybe oh. worth this. Caro, 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 karate, karate, karate in Greek. Karat, ah. the caro, because the caro is like this black. Yeah. And inside they have honey. Mm. Uh -huh. And we make a caro honey. And you used to eat because it was a, a cheap. You yeah. can yeah. buy it yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a chocolate. The caro is very good and very healthy, of course. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank, Thank, you. Well Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Nothing. Build up on snails and carob, day one in Crete is done. Thank you so much for watching.